Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. Today I'm going to show you how to get this impressive result. This is 1.2 gigabits per second on a cell phone. This is a Note 8. And uh, yeah, on this video I'm going to show you the things you need to do that. Now, two things you're going to need are going to be an on-the-go adapter. And again, I'll put links for this stuff as I always do in the video description below. Those are affiliate links. And when you click through to them, you, uh, I get a portion of the sale, but it doesn't cost you any extra than going straight to Amazon to get these. And by using the links in the video description below, you get, you're guaranteed to get the same equipment that I bought from Amazon to make this happen. So we have an on-the-go USB 3 to USB-C uh, connector. If you have a different combination on your phone, then you know go with uh, a different connector. But uh, this is USB-C. This is what worked for me. So that's USB 3 to USB-C and I have a, a gigabit ethernet adapter uh, and I bought several of these. This is the only one that gave me that performance so make sure you buy this one. Uh, my phone is a, is a Note 8 so it's Android, Samsung uh, so it might make a difference on your phone. I don't know but I know this ethernet adapter at one gigabit is consistently giving me that speed not only on the phone but also on my laptop uh, so it's been very good on that. Again in the video description below, one gigabit Ethernet, as you can see, USB uh, USB 3 uh, adapter on the end. So make sure you get a USB 3 uh, Ethernet adapter, and that is one gigabit. Because if you don't, you won't get the speeds here uh, that I'm going to show you in a minute. Also, uh, these on-the-go adapters are useful for a lot more things than just connecting an Ethernet connector to it. You can connect a USB thumb drive to them and move files on and off your phone really nicely, really quickly, really conveniently, okay? So you may want to have one of these around, uh, If uh, again, if uh, you don't have one. Very, very handy. I use it all the time. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use it for this video to take the video that I took of the desktop on my phone and put it on this uh, uh, YouTube video. So once again, uh, let's get to the instructions, and I'll show you how to get these results. Well, here are the uh, components or the the uh, technology you're going to need to hook up Ethernet to a phone. This is the uh, Samsung Note 8. Uh, it's a great little phone. A little long in the tooth, but still a great phone. Works great. Uh, we've got a on-the-go USB th uh, 3 uh, to USB-C connector. And then, then we have an Ethernet to USB 3, uh, 1 gigabit uh, Ethernet adapter, which we're going to connect together and then plug into the bottom data port. So let's do that. We take the USB 3 uh, connector, connect them together. Now we have this, and as you can see, Ethernet adapter there. Um, we're going to plug the, uh, the USB-C into the data port, like so. And then we're going to take our CAT6 network cable and plug it into the uh, network adapter as you see right here and uh, of course you're going to need a one gigabit uh, internet connection of course or service at your at your uh, location we I've got that so we're going to go up here I'm going to go into airplane mode and that makes sure that we're not using Wi-Fi at all and as you can see we are and it says Ethernet cable connected here so we're connected already if you want to go see more details about it, just click there. You can see that it's on automatically. And then you can go configure Ethernet uh, um, connection. But again, not really important here. We're here for the test. Let's go to fast.com, uh, which is the speed test that they run for Netflix. Or Netflix runs. You can see it down here in the bottom corner. And you can see at a 920, one gigabits there. Perfect, right? Uh, let's run it again see what we get. And as, as I said, you can see that clearly this gives this phone 1 gigabits per second uh, speed. Now, uh, I, you know, what, what are you going to do with this? Well, you can use it as a network tester. Or uh, if you're a gamer, you're going to have a lot less uh, latency on Ethernet that you would ever have on uh Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is, is a half duplex technology. So, you know, even if you got one gigabit, which I don't think you can on this phone, maybe you can, I don't know. But uh, if you could, 
Uh, it would still be slower because it's half duplex. Uh, Ethernet is full duplex. That means that it talks, it sends and receives da data at the same time, whereas uh, Wi-Fi can only send or only receive data at one, uh, one time. Now, it does that really fast, so you know it looks like it's, it's uh, full duplex, but it's not. That, that creates uh, what they call latency. But as you can see, uh, we've got some great results there, and that's how you quickly set this up. Now, I set this, uh, um, the reason I did this was actually just mostly by mistake. Uh, I had uh, an on-the-go connector, and I wanted an uh, uh, Ethernet adapter for the computer, my laptop, because it had a broken uh, uh, RJ45 socket on it. So, uh, you know, it's easier, cheaper it was to buy these components. And by the way, these are about, uh, I think, about $30, under $30, maybe this, I think I bought this for 15 and the other one I got two for the for about 10 or 15 as well again I'll put links to this stuff in the video description below for you guys uh, please use those links uh, to buy these things if you're going to do it because hey uh, they're affiliate links and they help me out a little bit number one number two they don't cost you anything more than just going directly to Amazon to buy these things also you're going to be sure to get the same stuff from the same sellers because I bought this stuff on Amazon uh, on Amazon than I'm using on this video which should guarantee you the result now I have a different uh, USB 3 uh, 1 gigabit adapter and it does not give me this result on it so I would stick to this stuff at least for an Android but if you're buying it on Amazon and it doesn't work for you you can buy some other uh, uh, another adapter and maybe you'll get a better result but I know that these two make that happen on that phone now you're going to say well if i'm going to play games uh can i charge the phone at the same time well not with this thing uh because if you do you'll have well actually you'll, you'll only have one one thing connected to it now they do sell splitters on uh amazon like this which will give you usb 3 and uh usb c uh connectors but and now i'll show you here on this test there is there is a caveat to this and i'll show you what it is I'm going to plug it in and um, I don't have a charger here I'll, I'll plug the charger in uh, in a second but uh, okay so let's let's do um, the Ethernet adapter to the USB 3 and what I found on these is that they actually slowed the connection down a lot let me plug that Ethernet adapter back in here there we go we see Okay, and let's see what's going on up here. Yep, Ethernet connector uh, connected. And so it doesn't matter here. Let's do the, the speed test. And as you can see, you know, and I bought several of these, and it doesn't matter whether the charger is plugged in or not. I bought several, and they all do the same thing. They take the speed down by 60 you know, or 70 percent, uh, as you can see here. Uh, right, but I mean again if if you want low latency you're still getting pretty low latency on, on the test uh, But uh, You know you lose a lot of speed with this adapter But with this adapter you would be able to plug a charger into it at the same time and play a game uh, At the same time so maybe maybe not a way you may want to go but personally I, I, I don't use it for playing games I use it for testing networks and so I need as fast a bandwidth through this thing as I can get so I take that socket off and that splitter out and I again I'll put links to this in the video description below but like I said it's gonna you know your performance is gonna suffer so let's put this uh, back together again and what I use this for and it's very handy I've actually used it to fix a couple of network situations already um, and I'm gonna plug it back in what I use it for is to check people's uh, network to see if they're getting one gigabit at the modem and then on the router and then on their computer and or wherever it's connecting to or at the end of the cable that goes to their computer and uh, in one case already I've, I've replaced the router because it was too slow and it was a uh, it was a Wi-Fi 6 router it was incredible it couldn't give it couldn't give the one gigabit from the modem to the client so uh, replaced it with an, an old Archer C9 uh, TP-Link Archer C9 version 1 and it gave the one gigabit to the client so you know don't don't knock those old routers and I will do a video on some old routers I use that are still excellent so now we're connected again we'll do the test one more time
And as you can see, I mean, it's going to vary. I, I, again, we're we're dealing with cable here. It's going through. I'll, I'll let it do the latency and stuff. There we go. And again, so as you can see, really, really sweet on the uh, speed. You know, the upload speed is good too. Uh, we just run it again. Once it finishes, I think it's finished. Nope, still going around in a circle here. Okay. I'm just going to restart it, see what happens. There you go, you see it, one gigabit. So, you know, again, cable uh, modems and cable connections aren't guaranteed uh, always the same. If you had fiber optic, you'd probably do this too with the same kind of uh, connection and get some really, really decent speeds. But uh, again, the Ethernet adapter is one gigabit. So uh, I don't know how much faster than that it will be possible for it to go. But as you can see, it's doing that one gigabit, so no problem. And it actually went a little higher, and I've seen higher than this uh, uh, results, but I just wonder if that's you know a mistake of some kind or a glitch. But uh, as you can see, there's what you can expect to get uh, from this combination of things. Again, I'll put links for this hardware in the video description below for you guys. And uh, you can use that uh, to buy them. Please uh, do me a favor. It doesn't cost you any more. And you're guaranteed to get the same hardware that I'm using here. So more than likely, you'll get the same result. But again, if you buy on Amazon, returns are pretty well easy and free. So, uh, you know, uh, that's it for, for my video on this. Now, again, as I was saying before, this is a great setup for... Uh, again, low latency on your telephone, on your on your smartphone, but also for testing networks. I use this, I swear, all the time. It's beautiful. Uh, I, I found laptops aren't reliable speed in their speeds. Uh, difference in, in drivers on Windows and so on causes the speed to lag. Uh, but on a phone using this setup, it's, it's a beautiful network tester. So if you're looking for a cheap, uh, very reliable network tester, this setup, will do the job very well. It does for me all the time. That's it for my video on how to get gigabit speeds on your cell phone. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out some, in, in some way, do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up, a like on the bottom here, uh, bottom of the uh, video screen. Also, if you like my content and want to see more in the future, uh, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon when you're doing that. That gives you the, uh, that, that's the notification bell and that means that every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified on your computer or your device that I put a new video up and then you can watch it, watch it at your own leisure. Uh, once again, uh, don't forget about the yeah. affiliate links in the video description below to buy these things. Make sure you get the right stuff to make this happen uh, and help me out by doing that as well at the same time. Also as well, uh, make sure you got CAT6 cable in all your network connections. If you're doing gigabit uh, speeds, you need a reliable cable. Yes, CAT5E will do it, but CAT6 is better. So use CAT6 where, where and when you can, okay? So uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that content. And uh, stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you on the next video.